What's going on YouTube fam? Thanks for joining me on another high adventure video. Guys, I'm driving to my fishing spot and I see something on the road and I'm like, what the heck is this? It looks like a bunch of pine cones. No, it's not. Check this out. Guys, look at this. A bunch of crickets. We have a Mormon cricket hatch. Look at these guys, they're cannibals. So when these get run over, they eat them, they eat each other. But look at all of these crickets. Look at all these crickets, guys. This is excellent catfish bait. Look at, and look, all the way down the road. There are literally like tens of thousands of crickets along this road. Look at all, look at that. They're just, I'm walking, excuse me, excuse me. Guys, this is excellent bait right here. Oh my goodness, it's just whack. Look, this guy, he's just eating. He's eating his, his comrade. Oh, he's jumping away with his comrade. He's like, this is so good, I'm leaving with him. That is insane. This is so crazy, guys. Crickets are great bait, especially for catfishing, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Unfortunately, I can't use them, and here is why. I have a little challenge I'm gonna be throwing down today, and I cannot use crickets, so I'm gonna have to let these guys skip on by today, and we'll just have to come back down here another time and use them. In the meantime, let's keep driving. Let's get to our fishing spot. Hey, you. What? I ain't, I ain't got any food for you, sorry. How you doing? Hey. That's not the most Idaho thing, I don't know what it is. A few more over there. Almost to our fishing spot. All right, YouTube fam, we are here, finally, after a long, dusty ride on a dirt trail in the outbacks of Boise, Idaho. Check this out. This is gorgeous. So I've actually fished here before, but never on land. This is Cricket Island. Some of you are gonna know that. If you know that, actually, you've been on my channel a long time. Uh, but this is the Cricket Island that I fished and done really well, catching a lot of catfish. And that's what we're gonna be going after today. The reason it's called Cricket Island is because there was an island, a little floating rock island, and there were a bunch of crickets on it. So I know, really imaginative, but that's how it got its name. and. Uh, seemed fitting at the time and still seems fitting now. So we marked it and dubbed it Cricket Island. Let me show you guys our setup today. Uh, let's get cooking. All right guys, so the way this story began is I'm in Walmart the other day and I'm picking out some bait and I'm at their fridge and I'm looking in their fridge and I notice they've got night crawlers and there are two different kinds of buckets of night crawlers. They're little cans. And uh, I'm just thinking, okay, let me grab some night crawlers, not a big deal. Well then I start to look at the labels and I look at this guy. And it says 18 Canadian night crawlers. So I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. Then I noticed this guy, Dancing Rascal Night Crawlers. Big red worms. And I'm like, well, what's the difference? Wait, what? Born and raised in the USA. What? I've got Canadian night crawlers and American night crawlers. What's the difference? So of course, I'm a red-blooded American man, and I'm like, well, we gotta test this out. Which worm is better? Because obviously, there is a difference. Canada, you have night crawlers. America, you have dancing rascal night crawlers. So today, we are going to find out which nation rises above the rest in night crawlers. I have two rods. Each rod is going to be equipped, one, with a Canadian flag, woohoo, and one, with the USA flag. USA, USA. Each night crawler is gonna get a fair shot. This is gonna be a totally fair fight. I actually haven't even seen what these night crawlers look like because apparently there are 30 in this can, but only 18 in this can. And I wanna know why. Are Canadian night crawlers just more expensive? Let's find out right now, actually. Let's take a look at what American night crawlers look like. That's an American night crawler right there. Fully extended, probably about four inches. Not bad, really wiggly. Really, really wiggly night crawler right there for sure. Now let's take a look at what Canada has to, whoa. Holy monkeys. Good, wait, is that just one? Oh boy, uh, on first look, okay, there is a Canadian night crawler. Look at that bad boy. Fully extended, that's probably about five and a half to six inches, super thick. We have Canadian. And we have American. Look at that, the Canadian night crawler is totally like trying to go attack the American one already. American, Canadian. 
obviously can it good grief that that's not are all there worms like this look at good grief another canadian nightcrawler that's american good grief i mean that thing is obscenely large that guy's just got as much action i mean look at that by the looks of it america is definitely the underdog okay so there is definitely a lot of pep and the american nightcrawler step but i mean uh, are you serious? This is like featherweight. This is like heavyweight. Like this dude looks like he just downed like a gallon of maple syrup and a kegger. I mean, and he's ready to go. He's ready to tumble. Well, you know what they say? It's not about the size of the worm in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in the worm. Okay, well, Team Canada looking to get a strong start on the day. Um, they definitely have the size advantage. We'll find out. Enough talking. Canada versus America. Let's go get it on. All right, got my last load of stuff that I'm transferring down to the water's edge. So as you can see, each rod tip has Canada and America on it. I think what we'll start with, we're going to start with Canada right there off to the tippy tip point. And then we're kind of right on the back side of this. There's the buoy out there. Back side of this point, we'll throw Team America out this way. Okay, so quick program update. That is the size of hook that I've got to use for Team America because our night crawlers are so small. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two American night crawlers on this just because I'm just worried that one night crawler is not gonna be enough. But in the spirit of fairness, we will also throw two Canadian night crawlers on the Canadian um, the Canadian rod. It seems kind of sickly. Oh, that's not a great start. I think is he he's dead. Okay, that's not a great way to start the day. All right, so there is Team America right there. Not a bad looking hook. Oh, very solid cast. Boom, just hit the bottom. Well, I guess it's probably around 30 feet or so. There we go. Team America is in the water. Let's get Team Canada out now. Those are two Canadian night crawlers right there. I mean, that's just a glob, just a glob of worms. We'll see. Here we go. Good cast for Canada. Yep, right in that current. There you go. Team Canada's in the water as well. America, Canada, it's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, 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 guys, guys, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Team America's getting a bite. Here we go. I had to move the flag down because at the rod tip, it was just shaking the rod tip so much it was hard to see if I was getting any bites. So I did it for both Team Canada and Team America. Dang it, I missed him. Man, that was maddening. Just like a bunch of little small taps. Might have been something small. Oh, look at that, look at that. Just a tiny bit of worm left on there. That's it right there. We had something down there messing with it. Wasn't big, because she wasn't taking it, but time to rebait. First good confirmed bite. I, I think Team Canada had had a bite. I was looking away and I looked back and I could have sworn the rod came up a little bit, but I can't confirm that. So let's get America baited back up here. I'm moving towards the tip of this point a little bit further. I was kind of on the back end over here. We're gonna move out towards the tip a little bit more. I spent a good probably hour and 15 minutes back there. And with two rods, that's enough time to know if there are catfish in the vicinity. So we're moving about uh, maybe 40, 50 yards up river. We'll throw it out here a little bit, give it an hour or so. And if we can't get anything here, We'll move on to the next spot. It's Team Canada threatening again. Just got a good bite there. Right out in the middle. This wind's really picking up. We're gonna go ahead and reel in. Make sure Team Canada still made it up. Good grief. Oh, I've got one. What is this? Oh my gosh, Team Canada! is on the board look at this this is a baby catfish it's not much that this catfish little channel 
little channel cat probably about seven inches long that is insane but team canada on the board first with a seven incher well team canada not exactly something to be proud of but you're on the board on the board first that is crazy that is crazy there you go little guy that might be what those little bites are i think what we're gonna go do is try to find a spot blah 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 guys for whatever reason my audio cuts out right here but basically what i'm trying to say is the wind is whipping super hard across the point time to find a different location i've only caught the one small catfish in about an hour's worth of fishing so it's time to move all right gang i pulled up to my next spot i've actually brought my chuck right down almost to the water's edge because i gotta stay a little far away because the water is slowly coming up but this is more of a flat area a uh, little way different than what I was just fishing. So my guess is out here is only going to probably be about maybe 10 or 12 feet deep. Maybe this is where those fish are because we've tried the channel already and that only produced one little dink and a lot of bites. There goes Team Canada. Good cast for them. Like that. That works for me. America, Team America just got a bite. I'm sitting over here eating dill pickle chips. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was fast, that was really fast. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, Team America's been in the water for maybe three or four minutes. Hey, come, oh, there's a nice bite. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I missed him. Dang it. I thought I timed it perfectly. It felt like he was on there. Yeah, look at that. Just a little bit of worm left on. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Well, America just got a bite. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting bit, we're getting bit. Got him. Team USA has a fish. Uh-oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh, wait, 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 my line's on the bottom. Oh, I can feel it on the bottom. Team USA has a fish, but we have a slight problem. I can feel my line dragging along the bottom. It's not good. Fortunately, I've got pretty heavy test line. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, no, are we out? Yes, we're out. All right. Woo! Oh, Team USA looking to score. Looking to score. That's a decent cat. No, 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 no. Woo! Oh, yeah! Oh, look at that. That's a nice kitty right there. Team USA strikes back in a big way. Oh, mama. That's a stringer catfish right there, guys. Look at that. That is awesome. So I've got my sweet little handy dandy scale here, and it's actually got a measuring tape on the side as well that pulls out. I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want one of these. Pretty sweet. I like it, really portable. I wanna say this guy is somewhere right around four to five pounds would be my guess. All right, here we go. No. I sold myself short a little bit. It is 5.96, almost six pounds. Team America, solid in the lead with a six pound channel catfish right there. Nice looking kitty, that'll taste good later. Let's see if Team Canada can from, come from behind. All right, gang. So this fishing's been a lot tougher than I had anticipated today. Um, obviously moving to this little point, I've had a lot more action, a lot more little bites. Just caught that, well, caught that six pounder about half an hour ago. I still feel like though, especially in this reservoir, I should have had more fish. And I'm almost tempted, I know it's crazy, but I'm almost tempted to try. Oh, there's Team America, just got a bite. Oh, yep, yep, yep. My bear is getting bit again. Got him. Team America's hooked up again, guys. Whoa. You can see Team Canada's right there. She's right there. Okay, let's see. Not very big. Oh, no, it just came out. Oh, shoot. Oh, she just threw the hook. That was probably just like a little pound channel catfish. 
shoot man i can't she just just i mean right there just threw the hook nothing i could do about that line didn't snap or anything shucks well gotta rebate and get back out there that's all that we can do all right guys i have got bells on both the rods i'm gonna go ahead and start finding some wood we're gonna get a little fire going and cook that one catfish up I think I'm gonna go ahead and stay here tonight because I've had several other bites. I would have had two catfish if I could have pulled that other one in. And I don't wanna risk it, packing all my stuff up, driving another mile up river, unloading everything. I just figured, you know what? I would have had two catfish now. I'm getting other bites. So maybe this evening bite will get stronger and we'll just stay here and uh, call it good. So let's go find some wood next and let's get this catfish cleaned. All right, this is my grill grate. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, I think I'll stick this probably like right here. Maybe like right here. This time of year when the water's so low, it's nice because all this dry stuff just hanging out. Now check this out. Old dried out catfish head. Huh. Probably from this year or somebody probably caught it this year would be my guess. found this wood along the river, my last spot, somebody would have, must have left. It's like from a pack of wood that you buy at the store. That's kind of nice, get, help me get started here, hopefully. Let's see if we can get it going here. Am I a one match wonder? That might get it. Grab some more wood. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa, that's looking like a nice far. That really dry stuff that ends up on the side of the riverbank, that stuff burns really hot. So it's kind of kind of great for getting a fire going. America just got a nice bite there. I just moved around a little deeper where Canada was when we first got here. Just just kind of experimenting around. Got her. Yep. America's hooked up again, not very big, but we definitely hooked into a fish. America's looking to add to the lead. This is a small cat, I think. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is a tiny cat. This is like what we got at, oh, but that's like what Canada got to start the day. But it's a fish, not really worth weighing. We'll just add her to the total. Look at that, just small, just tiny. But it's another fish. Guys, I bet my bottom dollar, if these little guys are down there, there are bigger ones down there too. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Be free, little dude. If you're about five inches longer, you might be close to a pound and I'd eat you. America's on the board with two catfish and the biggest so far, but the sun's just going down. I've got a feeling the party's just beginning. All right, we got our fire going here. Go ahead and throw our grill. Great, right over top. Perfect. All right, gang. I've got some nice golden Idaho potatoes. I'm gonna make some fries. Not perfect, but it'll do for camping. All right, got a nice little mess of golden fries. Now let's go get our oil heated up. All right, we got a pan here. Go ahead and throw some vegetable oil in it. Fried. There we go. All right, gang, we got our fries. Let's go ahead and toss a handful in there. Oh yeah, that's hot enough. There we go. Do that for now. Got our handy dandy little tongs. Just gonna move those around. Let those fry up. We'll keep working on that catfish. All right. Our catfish is dead. Go ahead and get them flayed up here. It's a nice piece of meat right there. Check that out. Looks good. It's a nice steak. That'll feed us tonight. Go along with our fries. All right, guys. For our catfish, I've got the sweet little grill mat here. Keep moving these fries around. Now, if you've watched my channel long enough, you know what we start every fish meal with, butter. 
So I'm gonna just take some butter, put it right over like this. That way that fish doesn't stick. Perfect. Next, we will take our catfish filet. Whoa, that's plenty warm. We just set it right there. Perfect. All right, gang, the Garner family sent me a couple of seasonings. One is not a seasoning at all. It says it's a Cherise Mesquite Honey and Arizona Dreaming Salt-Free Seasoning. Penzi Spices, it's called. Right there on the front. I'm gonna open this up and sniff it here. Oh, it smells really good. That smells really good. I'm excited to try that. They say, sent me a little note as well. Wanted to extend our thanks to you and your awesome videos. We left Arizona and moved to Washington a year ago and really got into fishing. We started to YouTube everything fishing and got hooked on your bro Ace's videos and yours. I'm better. Remember that. I'm kidding. <laughs> you guys have no idea how many weekends we have caught trout and fried them in different flavors and potato of potato chips. Ooh, good show. You are totally awesome, and please keep up the fantastic videos. That's awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Well, I am excited to try the Arizona Dreaming Penzi Spices. I'm gonna give this a try today. Um, I think I'm gonna save this honey for another time because I think this spice, smelling it, almost has like a little Jamaican. It's got a, what is that? It almost reminds me of like a fr Five Guys Burgers and Fries. They're, they're spicy fries. That's what it reminds me of. So we're gonna throw some of this on that catfish and I think it's gonna taste delicious. All right, so here goes some of that seasoning. We're just gonna go, I'm gonna lather it on rather generously because that, that catfish is like a steak. And catfish is really fishy flavoring, to, like fishy tasty to me. It's not like a fresh trout or like a perch or a crappie. So I think the more seasoning, the better. There we go. That's one side. We're gonna let that cook a little bit. Then we'll flip it over, add another portion of this, and we're gonna be ready to eat. All right, we'll go ahead and give this catfish a flip. There we go. Put some more seasoning on this side. Oh, it's a little breezy. Gotta keep that seasoning low. There we go. All right, get a load of that catfish. A little blackened. That's looking really good. I think we should do a taste test. Our fries, I think they're almost done as well. Let's do a taste test on this catfish though. I wanna, I'm want i really excited to try that seasoning out. All right. Oh yeah, those fries are perfect. Let's go ahead and pull those off. A little paper, paper napkin here. Throw those in. Soak up that oil. And we'll go ahead and toss the last of our potatoes in there. A little, ooh, fries, that oil's hot, careful. Jeez. Mix those around in there, make sure that all those get in the oil. Now we'll go ahead and pull our catfish off. Oh yeah, check that out. Nice big catfish filet right there. Let's go grab our fries and let's get eating, man. I'm hungry. Wow, now that I can see myself in the camera, I really got red today. That's okay, that's part of fishing. It's part of springtime fishing. Now for these fries, go ahead and put them on my plate. What I have is a little salt and vinegar buffalo wild wing seasoning. I'm gonna just toss that right on our fries. Just put that seasoning right over the fries. So we have a little salt and vinegar french fries. Boom, just like that. Go ahead and say a quick prayer. All right, I need to check the bait on both these rods. They were both ding a ling a little bit while I was cooking, but I didn't pay them no mind because I didn't get any really big bites. So check this fry out though, look at that. Look at that nice crispy fry. Oh yeah, that salt and vinegar seasoning from Buffalo Wild Wings is so delicious. I'm really excited about this catfish. I haven't had some good protein in a while. Actually, I haven't had any good protein like all day. That seasoning, Garner family, thank you. That is so good, that is so good. I might have to use that in one of my cook-offs against my bro. See if that wins me something. Cause me ancient might like that. It's got a little kick to it, but not too much. Cause he doesn't like spice. Mm. And that goes really well with catfish. 
That goes really well with catfish. Thank you again. I feel like we need to do this again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Team Canada's getting hit. Getting hit. Oh, we got it. Team Canada's on. Team Canada's on. We good? There we go. Get her up over that ledge. It's not very big, but it's definitely, definitely a catfish. Definitely a catfish. That's the kind of hit we're waiting for. We're having to kind of weed through those little fish, but I know there are big ones around here. Now this, I don't think is any record breaker, but it's gonna get Team Canada on the board. Here we go. Okay, this is about the size of the one that I lost for Team USA. Here we go, here we go. Uh, there we go, there we go. All right, Team Canada starting to crawl back in it a little bit. Not very big, probably just like a pound, but we're in the right area. I'm confident we're in the right area. That's exactly what I was telling you guys. It's just one fish. Now, obviously this, I mean, isn't anything crazy, but just one fish, man, turn this game around. Team Canada's back in it. All right, gang, before it gets too dark, let's go ahead and get our tent set up. This is an Eagles camp, just like a pup tent. Still keeping an eye on both rods. They have fresh bait on them, so still waiting for that piggy. Well, let's get this set up. All right, guys, we got our tent ready to go. Check that out. All ready. Now I also have a little pad, a little camping pad that I'm gonna roll down in there. So I've got a little bit something squishy to be on. So it's not just the truck bed. Check this out. Boom, camping pad. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want one of these. I've actually never used one of these guys. I've always had like a futon, but they're like really portable. Obviously you can see they roll up really small. We're gonna put this in our tent along with our sleeping bag. And we're gonna do a little truck camping for the first time ever. I'm pretty psyched. Then let me show you guys how we're gonna do uh, our fishing setup for the night and the lights we're gonna be using and everything. Got my pillow. You can see that mat is in there. Actually probably got, could have gotten like two of those. It's only like two feet wide, but no matter. My sleeping bag that I've had since I was like, 10 years old. My mom got this for me for Christmas. I remember that. I think it's a Land's End sleeping bag. These suckers right here will keep you warm. These will toast your buns, that's for sure. And we'll just take this, toss them in there like that, because I'm not quite ready to go to bed yet. Let's get our lights out and get those ready and set up. Kind of hard to see me, isn't it, YouTube fam? Well, check this out. Not anymore. Ooh. Guys, we have floodlights, not one. Ow, don't look at those right uh, in the light though. Woo, those are definitely bright. I will have a link in the description below, but check it out. Now, we have light. Check it out, the other cool thing about these is, one little ambiance, you can actually turn them down. Look at that. Okay, that's enough. Turn the floodlights back up. Bam, look at the light. Look at that shore now. We got tons of light. We can see what we're doing. We can watch fish being reeled in. Don't have to fumble and bumble around in the dark. Let's go ahead and grab these fishing rods and see if we can't get on a little midnight kitty action. Whoa, 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 Team America's got a fish on. Do we get her? Yeah, we got her. America's on, America's on. I think, boy, that was a hit. We still on? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. There it is. The wind's starting to pick up, guys. But there you go, it's probably about a two pound kitty. We'll get her weight up. I forgot, I didn't get it on film, but that other catfish was like, it was, it was two, it was like 1.02. So 1.02 for Team America on that other catfish. Or I'm sorry, that was Team Canada, Team Canada. 1.02. USA's going off again. 
USA is going off again. Guys, this is a nighttime cat bite. She's on there. Got her. Got her. Team USA is hooked up again. Oh my goodness. Guys, the moon came out and so did the catfish. This is what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. Team Canada is going off too. Team Canada is going off too. Wait, I'm going to wait. Oh, I think I missed it. I think I missed it. You know what? USA got the bite first. Got the bite. Oh no, I gave it slack. No, she's still on. Okay. Guys, this is insane. This is nuts. Right about two pounds right there. Another channel. Team USA. I think that's four now. Starting to put a, put a spread together. But Team Canada just missed a good bite. My goodness, things are starting to heat up. I like this. All right, gang. It is windy. It's not too bad cold, actually. It's not that cold. But man, this bite seems to really be heating up. I mean, it's the wind. It's even worse than it was earlier today. I'll bet it's probably 25 miles an hour. Team Canada's missed actually two bites. When I had the camera off, Team Canada got a really nice hit. And I, it just it was just a bam. And it was just a one-time thing. So, and then Team USA has got the two. And that's all within, it's only been dark for probably about an hour. So this is the kind of catfishing I'm used to. So I'm gonna put this camera down and we better be ready to lock and load because I've got a feeling we're just getting started. Guys, Team Canada's going off. Team Canada's going off. That fish is on there. Yes, we got him. We got him. All right, again. This might be a decent sized fish. Just by the way it's rolling. Oh yeah, it's looking good, Team Canada. It's looking good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good fish right here, Team Canada. Oh yeah. I think this is gonna be the biggest one of the trip so far. Look at that. Look at that, Team Canada. That's what I'm talking about right there. Check that out. Team Canada coming through in a big way right there. That I guarantee is, probably, is the biggest fish of the day. Uh, my last one I think was almost six pounds. This one's definitely over six pounds. That's a nice, nice looking channel cat. Team Canada's back in the race, baby. We'll get her on a stringer. Woo! All right, Team Canada. I just slid your catfish onto the stringer. Definitely makes Team USA catfish look pretty small so i'll bet i'll bet that catfish is probably around seven or eight pounds we'll stay tuned i might stay awake for about another half hour 40 minutes i was gonna have the lions out all night but because it's a little bit windy i'm I, i'm afraid like when the wind whips up the bells are gonna be going off and shaking and ding -ling all over the place so what i might do is pack it in get about six hours of sleep or so and then just get up early morning like at six o'clock in the morning and uh get the lines back out there and, and keep keep this challenge going let's see if we can top that i know there are bigger catfish in here all right guys quick update on the sleeping arrangements as i was crawling into my pup tent I felt a few drops of rain, so we're gonna hope and pray that we don't get like a downpour. It's actually pretty snug in here. Uh, this mat is actually not half bad. It's a lot better than I give it credit for, but I wouldn't mind having two in here just to fill the whole tent. Oh, you might be able to hear that. That's the rain. You know, the way this trip has gone, watch, it'll just be like pouring in the middle of the night. Fortunately, I have my truck right here if I needed to jump in the cab if the rain got too bad, but I do have a rain. This thing does have a rain shield on the top, so I don't know how restful it's going to be, but let's get some sleep. Better than nothing. And uh, hit it hard in the morning. Good morning, YouTube fam. Got about six hours of very restless sleep. Oh, man, it got really windy last night. <sighs> I think the first order of business we're gonna to try to get a fire going so I can cook a little breakfast and then we'll get those fishing lines back out for a few more hours this morning and uh, see what we can do time to get up a bunch of little stuff here There. 
got us a fire going. That is awesome. A couple bigger pieces of wood here. There we go. There we go. And Team Canada. The big glob of worms. Put in some work last night. All right, so guys, I was walking my eggs over here and I dropped them. Fortunately, I just dropped them. I wasn't gonna do scrambled eggs, but now I am. Shoot. All right, so I got a little butter melting in there. I guess we'll just kind of whip these all together. Yeah. Pour that in there. Like so. Mm. Over the fire eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of that seasoning, Arizona Dreaming seasoning on there as well. That was so good on the catfish. Thinking that'll be good on that as on the eggs too. Once again, thank you guys. Not gonna lie, guys, it's pretty nice. Nice fire in the morning, cooking some eggs. Got my catfishing lines out. Team Canada had a bite um, and something stole the worm, but it wasn't wasn't like the bites we were getting last night. It wasn't a big hit, but enough to take the worm off. So, oh, Team America. Team America just got a good hit. Let's see. Did I get him? Oh, how did I miss that? Did I miss it? Wait, wait, do I have him? All right, we might have a small catfish on here, Team team USA. We, uh, oh my gosh, no, a bluegill. <laughs> Look at that. That's called catfish bait right there. Look at that, are you kidding me? That's just a tubby, tubby bluegill. That's a pretty one. That's a, that's a nice slab bluegill though. Unfortunately, we can't use him. So we'll go ahead and put him back in the water. Oh yeah, look at that. Last couple of pieces that somebody left. Maybe the warmth of that fire will draw some catfish in. That's what I call fire right there. Couple more big pieces, you have a real bonfire going on. Whoa, Team USA just got a big bite. She comes back around for it. Get him. Uh, I might have. If I did, it's not a big fish again. But it is another fish, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think we've got another little fish on. What do we have here? We have a smallmouth. Team USA pulls in a smallie. I'm actually surprised. I haven't had more of these guys right here. I thought I would be getting hit by these guys all day long. Team USA adds another fish. Those fish are definitely out there and active. Starting to hit different fish this morning. Guys, I'm reeling up Team USA because I had a couple bites earlier. I might have something on. I can't tell because it's a pretty good size weight on it, but it almost feels like I'm dragging something up. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's a baby catfish. Check it out. Team USA is putting together a bag, but it's a bag of little ones. So I don't know. I don't know, but it's a catfish. I just cast Team Canada out deeper. So we'll see if that works for them. Check that out. Was on there the whole time and I didn't even know. I mean, I had a few bites, but it wasn't anything crazy. Little catfish. It is time to get these catfish weighed up. Check this out. I don't know if you could really, you couldn't really see last night very well, but look, look at how much bigger Team Canada's catfish is. I'll bet he weighs as much as both of those catfish compared to Team USA's. That's a nice kitty. Look at that, that's just a beast. Canada's getting a bite over there. 6.6 .6 pounds. 
There you go, 6.6 .6 pounds. That beats Team USA's personal best. Nice catfish there. There we go, Team USA. Oh, Team USA's getting a bite over there. Just those little nibbles though. 1.53, that makes sense. 1.53 pounds. Team USA, you're gonna, you're gonna actually commit over there or are you just gonna get little bites? All right, we'll weigh this last catfish up. All right, and Team USA's final catfish. This is 1.74. Whoa, Team USA's getting a good bite. Good bite for Team USA. Holy mackerel. That fish is on there. Got him. Got him. Team USA is on. Let me get that bell off. Whoa. Just got blown up. Team USA isn't done yet. Definitely another cat. Just got to find out how big it is. There she is. I'll bet that goes about four pounds, maybe three to four pounds. I can't quite tell. Yeah, yeah, probably about three. Another channel, another channel catfish for Team USA right at the final bell. Look at that. Oh, 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 I just, sorry Team Canada. There you go. Right, whoa, 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 right there. That's a pretty looking catfish right there. All right, Team USA, throwing it down. Good grief, overachieving. It'll be right around three, it looks like. 2.54, 2.54 for Team USA. Right at the buzzer. We'll make sure both rods are baited up and still out there. I'm still loading everything up, so we'll give everybody equal opportunity. There she goes. All right, guys, Team USA puts one more on the board. Both rods have been rebated back up and are out there. I'm gonna keep packing my truck up. We'll see if anything else happens here right in the final minute. Team Canada better make a move. Maybe we'll get a piggy right at the last bell. Guys, Team Canada's getting bit. Team Canada, I barely had it out there. I mean, like two minutes. Come on. Did I get him? Oh, I don't know if I got him. That was, a good, that was as good a time as any. I might have one. I, I can't tell. If I do, it's a little one. We got a little something on. What is it? No, this is a smallmouth. Team Canada with the smallie. Their first smallie on the board. It's not what we're after. Little smallmouth adds to their uh, adds to their uh, bag. We'll get it back out there. Get another worm on. Left one worm for us. So we'll get another one on out there. Well, YouTube fam, that concludes our first ever Canadian versus American worm throwdown. Comment below. Tell me who you think won today's throwdown. Actually, it's been the last like 24 hours. To me, it was really neck and neck because Team Canada, they had the best bite last night when that rod just boom, took off and I missed it. I also lost a fish for them, but I also lost a fish for, for the USA, um, which maybe speaks more to my fishing skills than anything. <laughs> but then Team Canada, they got the biggest fish of the trip at over six and a half pounds. Team USA, uh, those little worms, they were pretty scrappy but they ended up, they, they caught a lot of small fish at the end of the day. I feel like, I feel like if I would have fished all night, stayed up all night, I feel like Team Canada might have won this because at night, they, Team Canada just came alive. Like after the sun went down, Team Canada, it was on like Donkey Kong. But I went to bed at midnight, you know, skipped about six and a half hours of fishing and who knows what could have happened then. I feel like this just means we need another throwdown. I feel like this isn't a big enough sample size. We need to get back out here again. Let me know what you guys think. Should we do it again? Do I need to get back out here? I say yes, but today I think Team USA Worms took today's prize. The battle today goes to Team USA, but I feel like the war goes on. I think what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna give it about a week or so, then we're gonna get back out here, spend another 24 hours, and see if Canada can get some redemption. Because those night crawlers, man, those were bruisers. And I'm really surprised that they didn't perform better. But there were just a lot of small fish, and so that kind of favored today, uh, Team USA. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I will see you in the next one.